If you're unfamiliar with Procreate and Morfolio Trace, Procreate is more of a visual creator's dream, whilst Morfolio Trace is a practical professional tool. Having said this, which one is better for architects and which one is the best tool you can find? What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, firstly, thank you so much for joining me. On this channel, we talk about technology and architecture. Today, we're talking about Morfolio Trace and Procreate. We're trying to establish which one is the better tool for architects. So first of all, if you're looking to download one of these two apps, neither of them are free. They're both best used on an iPad with a pencil or some sort of stylus. Procreate is $14.99 Australian one-off payment, whereas Morfolio Trace is technically free to download, but it costs you about 28 Australian dollars per year to keep the absolute premium subscription. So from a consumer level straight away, Procreate is a much cheaper product versus Morfolio Trace. Considering Morfolio Trace is the more expensive premium product, we'll call it, we'll dive into this section and this app first. If you want to compare it to Procreate, you're welcome to scrub along the timeline down the bottom. I'll split this up into sections so you know exactly where you need to go. I've been using Morfolio Trace for a while now and I have made a separate video about Morfolio Trace. I'll try to link it down below if I remember. If not, I'm sure you're going to be able to find it pretty quickly. However, I've been using it as a basic tool for architecture. I'd usually take it into client meetings with me and open up their drawings in Morfolio Trace, scale it up and then start marking all over the drawings. I found Morfolio Trace to be a very practical architectural tool when you need to actually evaluate drawings and utilize a tablet versus printed paper. So to put it into perspective, Morfolio Trace is a great application that's basically equivalent to me having a big piece of printed paper, a scale ruler and a hundred million pencils with me at the same time. It really gives me that freedom and luxury to scale the drawing to exactly the right size I need, take the ruler, measure up bits and pieces and mark up and annotate drawings however I want and see fit. Now this is a very basic understanding of Morfolio Trace. I'm not a very good artist, I'm not very good at architectural diagrammatical drawings, but I do know how to use technology. So that makes me a little bit better. Morfolio Trace has some amazing tools straight away. You have some very basic pencils and some very basic brushes that let you do your job quickly and easily. But one of the best features is the stencil tools. Straight away in Morfolio Trace, you don't have to go and download any extra bits and pieces. You can literally pick up your tablet, pick up your pencil and start using all the built-in stencils. The stencils feature anything from people to trees and plants, all the way to architectural sectional details, brick coursing, or even just landscape planting and trees. So having all these stencils pre-built in means you can open up a floor plan, plop in some furniture, move around some landscaping and create whatever you need to do on that actual architectural drawing. Out of all the tools and features in Morfolio Trace, I do believe that the ruler and the scale ruler are one of the best features available on the app. This feature isn't available on Procreate and we'll get to Procreate in just a second, but having that ruler and having that ability to quickly scale and use the ruler to understand the scale of any drawing, as long as it has some sort of scale on it, is really fundamental and pivotal. I try to utilize this more as a business tool than anything else. It lets me quickly move from meeting to meeting and understand exactly what needs to be done. So if you need an app that can quickly and easily take you from one meeting to another and pretend like you're carrying 100 million drawings under your arm, well then Morfolio Trace is exactly what you're looking for. Now on the other hand, we have Procreate, which is the cheaper competitor, but it's also the market leader in Instagram ads and influencers and everything. So Procreate has been popping up everywhere. And to be honest, I hadn't really used Procreate too much until I saw a whole bunch of my friends and colleagues start using Procreate and talking about how fantastic it is. And if I'm gonna be honest, it is bloody powerful. It is basically like having a mini Photoshop in your app, but much better than the Photoshop app. It's a lot more intuitive and it's a lot more pushed towards that artistic flair and that artistic design style. So if you are somebody who is very good at art and can do architectural diagrammatical drawings, Procreate is absolutely perfect. 
Whereas Morfolio Trace is kind of more for people like me who struggle with that architectural documentation side from a 2D pencil kind of drawing. I'm phenomenal at 3D architectural visualization and construction documentation on a computer, but you get me to do anything freehand, I'm pretty average. So that's me being 100% honest. Procreate on the other hand gives you that great ability to do it on an iPad if you have those skills. Just like Morfolio Trace, you can import whatever you need and quickly start drawing and marking up over that document in Procreate. What you can't do, like I've already mentioned, is scale that drawing and put a scale ruler to it. So if you do have this drawing open in front of clients, you might not have any idea what size dimensions you need to have unless those drawings are scaled in some way, shape or form but most of the time it's a near impossible task to get the scale accurate. Procreate also doesn't have a million and one different stencils built in, so there's no architectural details already plugged in ready to go for you. It does on the other hand have some amazing brushes and pencils. So you have a couple hundred I think pre-installed straight away that you can choose from. I found the light flares and the water to be really, really amazing for all of your architectural renders that you're trying to improve. And because Procreate is such a well-known app, there's a million and one different brushes and pencil sets out there that you can go out and download and buy. I know Eric over at 30x40 runs an amazing YouTube channel on architecture and architecture design as well. If you aren't following him, go check him out. He's phenomenal. He has his own Procreate pack for architects and designers. I haven't downloaded, I'm sorry Eric, I'm too cheap, but there is some amazing brushes in there that you can go and actually showcase and use for yourself. If you have the time to set up Procreate properly and create your own brushes or download a few from somewhere else, it is a phenomenal app. It has so much power and so much ability to create incredible pieces of artwork. Now, if you're trying to elevate any of your drawings that have been exported out of an architectural package, you can quickly import them and start utilizing that floor plan and creating some artistic documents. That's kind of what Procreate does better than Morfolio Trace. It gives you that ability to be an artist and to have free reigns however you want but it's also a con if you don't know what you're doing. Whereas Morfolio Trace is kind of a little bit more guided. It lets you emulate that architectural style drawing instead of having to actually learn how to do it. So to wrap it up, Procreate is an incredible artistic architectural tool if you already have the skills as an artist. Whereas Morfolio Trace gives you that ability to do all of your architectural work without having to think too hard about the project. So overall, I think both apps have their own pros and cons. I think both apps are actually necessary for architects in a real world environment. But if you had to choose one, and this is me just speaking personally, it would be Morfolio Trace because it is a much more intuitive app as an architect. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. This month, I've tried to generate as much content as possible for you guys. So I've done 28 videos in 28 days. Usually it would be, I'll see you next Monday, but in this case, I'll see you tomorrow.